Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 42 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time we collected all the eggs, and now we're gonna see what we get. Ooh. Ew. Zora tadpoles, I guess. That's what they would be. I thought this was gonna be like an awesome, sweet scene, but this is just nastiness. I don't know, it's kind of, they're kind of cute, I suppose. <laughs> that guy's not- what the- <laughs> That guy's not set for close-up. Well, look at this! What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? Oh, I don't know. Tadpoles in the shape of music notes. Don't you understand? The way these little children have lined up, it means... Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's like a musical staff. Okay. Um. Can I- Can I play? Or not? What do I do? Um, I'm gonna go up here and see if I can play from on top. Let's do it. No? Do I actually have to me know, like, the notes to play then? Well, let's just talk to the guy and see what he says. You, you don't have some kind of instrument. I do indeed. Here you go. Alright, play with A and C. That's like the least memorable Ocarina song ever, in my opinion. Like, I never remember that thing. I don't know why. But that's the new wave bossa nova. Nothing. Not a thing. Could it be you're using the wrong instrument? Okay, well, apparently I have to learn it as a Zora then. Okay, now let's do it. Rock out. Alright, there we go. We played it actually correctly that time. Hopefully. Maybe we have to be a Deku using Deku pipes to learn this song. I don't know. Just to be random. Oh, what's happening? We're jamming out. We're having a music video with these freaking Zora babies. Ooh. This is interesting. It's like smooth jazz, and you know how much I love smooth jazz. You learn the new wave bossa nova. It's the melody taught by the Zora children that invigorates singing voices. That could be useful. That, yes, that instrument. Hmm, if the Zora Zoras were bored to teach this song, then hurry. You must play the song for the Zora who laid these eggs. And we know who that is, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, yes. It would happen to be Lulu. The Zora, who's in our band, apparently. The singer. And she's a Zora cape. So let's go play this song for her and invigorate her. Oh, by the way, I think I should make a quick mention here is that if you remember those, like, gossip stones that we played the Goron lullaby, lullaby for, that, and got a harpies for it, like those four in the holes in Termina Field, well, the other song that I was referring to that you could play for them would be the New Wave Bossa Nova, the one we just learned. So, yeah. And now, for her, we play this. There it is. You see, I remember it for, like, this one little section of the game, and then you don't really ever have to play it past that, so... Whatever. Playing a ballad for you, baby. Don't you love us? Oh, she's singing. Yes! We cured her laryngitis. Awesome! Oh my goodness. Why is it focusing on that one island there? Interesting. What? Oh, Jaws, don't come at me now. Well, I'm hanging out with this awesome girl. Wait, no, that's not Jaws. That's a turtle! Huh? Oh crap. No! No, he's gonna he's gonna eat me. He's gonna kill me. No, turtle, please don't, please don't. I'm scared of turtles. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. A turtle with palm trees on his back. That's what I call a Galapagos Island. Mm -hmm. I slept quite well. I just realized when I opened my eyes that the passing of days is quite quick, isn't it, Lulu? Yes, 
Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yes, Lulu. Lu, there's nothing to be surprised at. Although my eyes were closed in sleep, I still see everything that occurs in this ocean. Hmm, it seems Lulu is confused. Regardably, there is no time for idle conversation. Now then, proud Zora warrior. This guy's so silly. Open the, the open seas of the Great Bay have need of your might. Quickly, clap on my back. Okay, so... Um... Well, is he gonna give us control here or not? Okay, first I want to talk to Lulu, see if she says anything. Mikhail, what's going on? And my voice. What happened to me? Uh... You don't need to know, baby doll. You don't need to know. Okay, so if you hookshot onto one of those trees and get on his back, then he will take you to the Great Bay Temple that we heard about from that sign there, I think. Or from somewhere, anyways. But we don't want to do that quite yet, because there are just a few more things that I want to gather up, or just do, before I actually head out to the temple. One of which involves going to, I believe it's Mikau's room, is it? Is that right? Wherever that is, it's probably over this way. Yeah. Alright, so you want to head in here. Yeah, Evan came by several times, blah blah blah. And if you head in here... Uh, first, I just want to make note of this guy's drums. No comment, just... I just wanted to look to show you that. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that now that we have the hook shot, I don't know if you actually need the hook shot. I can't see another way up there without the hook shot. But you can get up here. Yeah, I see your hook shot to that thing, or to th that thing, maybe? There it is. And up here, you will see this. Can you read Zoran's script? No, but apparently if I put on a mask, I can. Hallelujah, I can read. Mikau, my diary. Today, Joppas was... Joppas and I had a band se jam session. He's not good with words, but he writes great riffs. Here's what I played. Okay, so A down, right A. Say I had Lulu listen to my session with Joppas. She seemed to, to like it a lot. Lulu's a pretty great girl, after all. Today I had another jam session with Jabba's. Evan was in a bad mood because the two of us are writing songs on our own. Here's what I played. Okay, so like, it's kind of, no, not really the same thing. That was like down, down, right, left, down. Okay. Evan called me over this morning. It was something about Lulu. He was in a real rush. I wonder what it could be. By the way, it seems my lucky color this week is green. I don't think that's important at all, but okay. Good to know. My favorite color is green, and I'm wearing green. Maybe that's the point. Okay, so now that we know those riffs that were in Mikau's diary, we can go back to Joppas and t and see what we can do about this jam session. Yeah, because remember we completely failed at that last time, and now, let's just see. How much do we fail now? Hmm? Um, jam session? No jam session? Can I talk? Wait, listen, listen quite carefully here. Yeah, you hear that song he's playing? I'll probably increase the volume of the music just so you can hear that. Okay. Yeah, and if you notice that, if you know that, then obviously you've played Mario before. Huh? You wanna have a jam session? Try following the phrase I wrote on your guitar. Alright. So, I believe this first one was A down right A. Yep, perfect. Whoa, that's a nice. And then this next one was down right left down. Perfect. I got it, I got it, I got it, here I go. And we'll start rocking out and hanging out, because that's what we're all about. I love these guitars. <laughs> Look at that one guy, he's just like snapping along to the beat. They're all amazed by this sweetness we're playing. It's like sweet honey in your ears. That's got a good feel to it. Even Evan should like this. But 
He's so proud. He'd resent the fact that we wrote something on our own. I don't think he'd even let the others try it out. What do you think we should do? Well, there's only one thing I can think of that can solve this dilemma. And that's if he doesn't know that we wrote it. So maybe someone else plays it for him. And he can just take the credit for it. But who else could we possibly get to play this song? So, wait, I have to know that song, though. Like, I think I have to know his part, too. I'm pretty sure. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that jam session real quick once again. And I'll, I'll just cut back out once I've memorized it. Okay, guys, I'm back. I played that one more time, and it's really not that hard. It's pretty much just a pattern. It's like... The second one you play like one octave up or not even one octave I think that's what it's called it's just like a bit higher but yeah okay that's Lulu's room because that's where the pervert is but let's go ahead and head in here and see Evan and see if he likes our song played by someone other than Mikau namely Link okay okay can I talk to you how'd you get in here I should have put up with this. People are not associated with the band aren't allowed in here. If you want an autograph, we'll be giving them out at Town's Carnival. So wait until then. Okay, well, I'm just going to play this for you. There it is. Huh? That song. It's like music to my ears. Nice butt crack. That's kind of what it looks like that he has. Hmm... It works, it works, it works! It works! Doc Brown, your time machine works! I don't think that's a line from the movie, but... Oh! Huh. Maybe if you played a little louder, I could actually dig your tune, man. Evan. I don't know any Evans in real life. Not bad. That's a pretty good song I just made. <laughs> you just made it up my ass. You've got a good sense of melody. We play, we, we'll we play that my new song at our next show. Take this and thanks. Heart piece. Yup. That's two. You're not thinking I'm stealing your song, do you? No, of course not. But Lula, did you know I'm really Mikau? Oh my god. Yeah, I just completely blew your mind with that, didn't I? Well, he wasn't looking, so I guess not, but... Whatever. It's the point. I just, I just made a point. Okay. Alright, now, um... There's still a few other heart pieces and stuff that I can get before, uh... Taking on the Great Bay Temple. But before I actually head out, I'm just gonna take a look. Like, just, just look. When I first came here, I didn't take in any of the scenery. Just like, there's like starfish and shells and amazing coral and water. There's that big oyster in the middle. The ceiling is nice and concave. There's waterfalls. It's, it's really beautiful. It's not as beautiful. Well, actually, it's beautiful in a different sense than the Zora's Domain in Ocarina of Time. So, I don't know. It's ominously beautiful, I think. It has a certain atmosphere to it. I guess you'd say. Alright, so, um, really quick, I'm just gonna cut off here and take a quick look, because I don't have much time left in this episode. I'm gonna take a quick look at my lists to see which heart pieces I can get with a hookshot now. Alright guys, I'm back after profusely looking through my lists, and, um, it seems that there's three new heart pieces that have become available to me, as well as one new empty bottle, but only two of those heart pieces are easy to get, I would say. And, or like, yeah, simple to get, I guess. Um, and the third one, along with the empty bottle, they're in an area that I don't really feel like going to right now. So I'll probably just um, do that after the Great Bay Temple if I have time in this cycle left. If not, I can just reset the cycle, no big deal. But for now, um, we're going to go ahead and warp. I wanna, I'm going to try and get these, both these heart pieces in the rest of this episode. I should be able to do it without t going too far over time, but even if I do, it's no big deal. You guys won't mind watching a little bit more just to show you some heart pieces, right? I hope not. Because then you just, that would, that would kind of be a slap in the face to me. 
It's like, I'm working so hard to get you all these heart pieces. And you're just like, no. No, you're wasting too much of my time, buddy. Oh, I could have shown the moon there. Oh, well. Alright, why am I Zora? Who knows? Okay, so you want your hookshot, your ocarina, and um, your lens of truth, I think is what the other thing you need. Alright, so you want to head out to here. And you can actually see that there's like an island out there. And if you... Oh, god damn it. I'm going to have to become a, a Goron quickly, aren't I? Yeah, I know. Oh my goodness, this is boring as hell. Okay. Well, thanks for the magic anyways. Kind of needed it. Alright, so I'm going to stop on this platform, I guess. And look. Yep, there they are. There they are. <laughs> Said that really weirdly. It was like I had some kind of strange half lisp, half console problem thing. Okay, oh crap, that stupid bird is coming for me. And it's gonna knock me off and it's gonna be a pain in the ass. But no, oh, I deny you. I'm sorry. Alright, so out there you can see a piece of a heart just taunting you way out in the distance. But you know what? Yeah, that's right. I, I went there. I played the Scarecrow song. Now Pierre's gonna come and help me get that heart piece. How? By just standing there and letting me grab his body. <laughs> Look at him just waving. It's crazy. He's doing the worm. Alright. And how much time am I at right now? Uh, roughly 16 minutes. Okay. Well, this last one is out in Great Bay Coast. Uh, I don't know why I didn't get this one first. Probably because this one's simpler. But, um, go okay, so work to Great Bay Coast. Obviously, I just said that. Yeah. And we're going to be using the magic beans. That guy's still doing the worm there. What the hell? Alright, you just dance your little heart up here. That's fine by me. I'm not much of a dancer myself. I've been to like two dances in all my life. Mostly because my high school doesn't have dances. My middle school did, and those were the two dances I went to. And I danced with the girl of my dreams, but that's a story for another time. Alright, so... Um, there are actually like two heart pieces you can get out here in this general location, but one of them requires that you beat the Great Bay Temple, so can't do that right now, and it looks like it's midnight on the second day. Look at that. It's 1.10 in real life. I should be going to bed soon, even though it is the weekend. Alright, so uh, we're going to need some spring water, I guess. Yeah. Come on. Oh, what? No? No dice? No spring water for me? Doesn't make sense, man. Come on. Alright, fine. You know what? There's actually another one I can get, but... This episode's gone on for long enough. I'm just gonna warp back to the owl statue, end off my recording session, and probably go to bed. So, um... I guess that's it for this episode. We did some pretty awesome stuff, I must say. Yeah. I shouldn't brag about my episodes, though. I don't, I don't need to, like give a full out review of my episodes at the end of each one. I'll just let you judge it for yourself. So, thank you everyone for watching, and oh, look at that moon up there. Did you see that? He was just like, he, that moon is a freaking stalker, I swear to god. Look at him, he's like, got the creepiest face ever. And he's not, he's not looking at me right now, but I guarantee that whenever you're not looking at him, he's staring right at you. And he's just like, I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna nom nom nom. Nom. No, he he's saying I'm gonna shoot bubbles up. Yo, no, fat ass. Okay. Uh, that's enough of that. It's not, that wasn't even funny. But okay, so thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. Oh, and we are out of here. Stop trying to scare me, Majora. <laughs>